So I'm here with a real chocolatier. Please tell us about the, your wonderful place and the history of this. All right. My name is Lauren Baxley, and I am one of the owners of Baxley's Chocolates here in Silva, North Carolina. It was actually my grandfather who started our business, and he uh, was a food scientist and specialized in peanuts. So he was asked to consult quite a bit with different chocolate companies because of uh, peanuts being a big product used in chocolate. So he uh, traveled to Japan, the Netherlands, and, and a lot of other countries helping consult. Um, and then one year he decided for Christmas to just try making some chocolate at home in the kitchen um, with the family. And he and my father got started doing it. I was very young, probably about five. So I was in and out of the kitchen, not really paying attention. But uh, as things developed, we started doing it more and more. We would make it at Thanksgiving as gifts to gifts to friends and family for Christmas. And then in the 90s, he and my grandfather, my father and my grandfather looked at uh, possibly starting a store. But at that point, my grandfather wasn't ready to retire. And they actually were looking at a location right a couple doors down from where we currently are, which was amazing when we found that paperwork, Look, going back and pulling information. I started helping my dad. I was working as a school teacher and finally had a whole week off at, at Thanksgiving. So while I'd helped with the process my whole life, I'd never done it start to finish. Uh, so I was able to start doing that. So for several years, he and I did that together. And we kept saying, well, wouldn't it be fun if we just did this all the time? And then he uh, had worked his whole career at Western Carolina University and decided that he was going to retire. And about two years before he retired, he uh, asked me if I would be interested in doing it. My degree is in international business, and so I know how hard it is to start a business and had said many times in my life that I would never own my own business. <laughs> um, but we, I, I said, yeah, let's try. We can write a business plan. I really was a bit skeptical if we would get funding, if we'd be able to find a location, but um, we started working on it about a year and a half before taking classes through Southwestern Community College's Small Business Center, uh, wrote our plan. He went and did some additional schooling at Ecole Chocolat, classes that you can take online through uh, Chocolate School in Canada. Uh, so we learned some things that we needed to be able to help and then we started off uh, we started in a smaller location uh, just down the block 2015 and then we moved here and opened here uh, in March of 2018 so um, we've been in business for a little over or almost no a little over six years now um, and it is my father and I and we now have two full-time employees and some fabulous uh, part-time employees and then my mother comes in and helps us um, through the really busy holidays like Valentine's Day and Christmas and things like that so and it's all made here and it's all made here yeah we don't make the gelato we get that from a dairy in Hendersonville but uh -huh. everything else and the Wilbur butt is you made here. Yeah, yeah yeah we do we my do dad's from Pennsylvania, in. so that's nostalgia oh yeah everything else you just make here so you really developed your own signature Yes. Chocolate. Yeah. And two, there's two recipes that we do that were actually ones that my grandfather and my dad developed when they first started. So our peanut butter meltaways, which are amazing. That's one of my personal favorites. And then our sugar plums are the two that those are our special um, recipes that my grandfather started. And then we worked on developing other recipes uh, as the years have gone on, like our caramel and, and things like that. So right, like right now we've been working on uh, kettle corn and caramel corn. Mm -hmm to just add some new things. So. How can they learn more about you? Well, we are online. We do ship, except when it gets really hot, we do have to stop sometimes, usually in the middle of summer. Uh, but our website is www.baxleyschocolates.com. Uh, you're welcome to email us, and you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Excellent. This is delightful. I can hardly wait to try the chocolate. Yay! <laughs>